Well, what do you do when your 12 year old starts acting a lot older? Parenting expert Michelle McVitty joins us now with tips on how to transition into the teenage years. Good morning. Good morning. So I'm not a mom. Is, mm -hmm. is the, this transition, is this the hardest on parents this time? Well, I mean, we all have different thresholds for <laughs> what is hard. Our children are different, but it is difficult because when they're toddlers, we kind of tell them what to do. As they start getting older, we can still tell them what to do. However, now as they're getting older, they're talking back and they're being sassy and it's they want their autonomy and they want their independence. And I think that's the piece where we want to guide them, but we are scared to let them go. So I think that's the scarier piece. Mm -hmm. Because you do want them to become their own person, but it's just how they do mm -hmm. that, right? <laughs> yes, and some children at nine could be left alone for a week and survive on cereal and you know crackers. And another child would be like, no way, even at 15 would have a hard time. So it's understanding what their needs are, teaching them and then letting them try, right? And, and then it's all about setting boundaries, you say too, but you call them loving boundaries. Yes, <laughs> yes, I, the, the loving boundary is about saying, look, you're upset, you're trying to tell me something. I am trying to hear you, but I cannot allow you to talk to me that way. Um, you're upset, I'm upset, let's take a break from this. Let's put this aside right now. And this is a little handout that I've created that can be like a little uh, cheat sheet, right? You can put on your refrigerator to help with positive and helpful communication because that's where we go back and forth we hook into an argument um, and the child wants to feel heard the teenager wants to feel heard but we jump in with don't talk to me that way enough and it can shut down the conversation we want them to talk to us but being rude is not okay and it's got to be tough on kids too because you think they're you know so much in their bodies is changing their brains are changing yes. Yes, yeah, brain is under construction until 25 and they are trying to push boundaries. It's actually normal. The kids that are in their rooms wanting to kind of stay young, those are the ones that we're wanting to push a little bit further. Um, we don't wanna protect them so much that we're not allowing them to try things because we wanna do it in a way that's supportive, if something didn't go well, let's do a redo. How can we do this differently? And that starts with conversations, but sometimes we get agitated. Emotion evokes behavior in us and our children. So sass and being rude is not okay. This is how I can set a loving boundary to say, I wanna hear you, I can't hear you when you speak to me this way though. Because sometimes the problem could be that a parent is just dealing with their own anxiety. Yes. Oh, absolutely. I feel like sometimes we project, well, this is what I was. So we mm -hmm. kind of project that onto our child. Like, I know what I was doing at 12. I know what I was doing at 16. So we think that our children are doing that. And it, it, there needs to be trust. Allow them to try something. Don't automatically think they're going to make a mistake, that they're going to screw it up, that they're doing something bad. Children really want to do well. Okay, and you've got great classes and, and uh, great blog with, with lots of tips. So we're going to put that up on our website, the, the link to that at chch.com. Michelle, always a treat to talk to you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Take care.